Have you guys always dreamt of creating a coffee shop, but you don't have much money? Well, make sure you guys watch this video because I'm gonna be reviewing how Trey's Latch Cafe went from $80 in a coffee cart to a successful coffee shop and bakery. Make sure you guys keep watching. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a profitable small business and a thriving food business. Today we're gonna be reviewing how this struggling coffee cart went from struggle to a success story and we're gonna see whether they are the real deal or not. So make sure you guys smash the like button because it's gonna show the YouTube algorithm this is the type of content you enjoy, this is the type of content you feel valuable about and then that way I can create more of these for you. One, the idea of trying to do a coffee shop. I was looking on Craigslist for a coffee cart. And at the time I had like $1,280 in my pocket. I took all the money, emptied my account and went over there with like, please, I need this to get going today. He gave it to me for 1200 bucks and I had like $80 left. You know, I was like, okay, what do I do now? I have no money and a coffee cart and a dream. Like what, what's gonna happen next? It is so cool because this is literally everyone's dream. Doesn't matter which stage of life they're in. My best friend, he's a dentist and he wants to open up a coffee shop. Myself, I was a successful entrepreneur and I went out and created a coffee shop. Anyone's dream is to go out and create a coffee shop, so it's pretty crazy. My name is E.T. Rivera. I'm the owner and creator here at Tres Leches Cafe. One day when I was at home, I ran out of milk. And so I had to try to get any type of milk products that I had in the refrigerator. Like this much I have and have, this much evaporated milk, this much condensed milk. So like mixing all these things together and I made my caramel latte that morning and it was so good. That's how I came up with the Tres Leches and then with the name ended up coming to the Tres Leches Cafe. Yeah, this is, this is kind of where it all It's so cool because a lot of times creations are coming from really random places, things, places that you're not really looking for and you just smash everything together and things just work. Very just interesting. Here and set up the coffee cart on Saturday, Sunday mornings. And I think probably there was days where we're making like 50 bucks, 30 bucks. This is our first uh, standalone building. Yeah, you can even still see the silhouette where our banner was on the building right there. We left a mark on this place for sure. <laughs> After being there for two years, we took a chance on it coming here, and I was so scared. This place, you know, is 3,000 square feet, and the house that we're in was like 800 square feet before. How am I going to pay rent at two places? It ended up being like the best decision I ever made for Tres Leches Cafe and for myself and my family. Our customers, they were going crazy for the weeks that we were closed. They were like, can I just come and get a strawberry or a chocolate? Can I come and just get in the Tres Aztecas from the back? So since we opened up, it's like we never closed. So for the past four years... This just shows how important it is to create a product that your customers love. So many people, they create a business out of fad because hey, you know what, it is popular on Instagram, therefore it's gonna be popular and it's gonna stay popular. But that doesn't create a sustainable business. What creates a sustainable business is when you can actually create a community of people that supports you, that buys from you over and over again. That is when you know you have a legitimate business. Now, how do you do that? You must find a product that gives you sustainability. That is not a fact. That is solving a specific problem in your consumer's eyes and in their daily lives. And this is clearly what's happened because when they open their doors, it's as if they didn't close. That is something that means they're doing something really right. I didn't even have a website. I'm not super computer savvy. That's something I was like really nervous about, but got the website from GoDaddy and it is so easy to use. <laughs> the website is so important because it, it tells your story. You know what I mean? You can put my name out there and give that professionalism that a lot of small businesses seek. I can edit my website from my cell phone. If I want to change something, it's like that. It's phenomenal. So aside from the fact that this is sponsored by his sponsor, GoDaddy, you know what? They, he makes a really good point, right? Because having a website is super important and having an Instagram account that is also on brand with everything that you do is also very important because you want to be able to create a cohesive brand, whether it's online or offline, whether people are coming into your store, how they feel, what they see, the menu item and everything, to when they go on your Instagram to when they go on your website. They should have this coherence and that's when you have a proper branding. That's 
when you can actually create a loyal fan because when people come in, they feel the exact same way as if you, as, as if they were online as well. Hey, man. Good, good to see yeah, you. Come yeah. on in, man. So you've made me this amazing pumpkin cafe horchata. I'm gonna sip on this while we take a look a little bit deeper into your website. It's been helping a whole lot. Now we're processing uh, about three to five orders a week when normally we would have either one or none. Whatever my brain was thinking of how Tres Hechos Cafe should or could look, that's exactly what you see when you walk through this building. And those are the dreams that I used to have when I had my coffee cart. I used to sit there and just close my eyes and imagine like what Tres Hechos Cafe could be someday. I wanted Tres Hechos Cafe to be like the third biggest coffee chain in America. This is the importance of having vision. A lot of times when we're creating a business, we go in to create something that we're not even clear about. Then how do you expect yourself to be able to create it? You can't. And how do you expect to be able to hire people and have them follow behind your footsteps? For them to follow behind you with unwavering conviction that, you know what, this is a good leader. So that's the reason why having your clear vision of what you're trying to build and the mission behind that is super important when you're creating a business, just like how he did. I have people coming at me all the time trying to franchise the cafe and that's something that I'm trying to do. My goal is trying to get me a general manager inside here so I can continue to move company. Just a few weeks ago, we started selling more pan dulce than we do coffee and we sell a lot of coffee. And on the weekends, like almost every other person has their tray like stacked up and I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it because like I almost like want to cry. I'm like, thank you guys, you know, like thank you so much. Like I didn't expect like people to start doing that, but they do. The customers come here and they market this cafe every time they come in. They have their cell phones out when they walk in. They're taking pictures. They, when I'm watching them, once they walk around the corner, they have their phone out. They're documenting everything like if there's some magical place they've never been to before. And they are, you know, and this is exactly what I created it for. The smart thing about what he has done is that he utilizes heavily UGC, user generated content. Because once again, I always say this, what other people have to say about you is 10 times better than what you say about yourself. Utilizing the platform of Instagram, utilizing and incentivizing people to come in, creating an environment for people to come in to actually take pictures, for them to document their own experience. So that way they can show the world and they are the biggest ambassador for your brand. And this is the reason why I think that he is definitely the real deal. So there you go, friends, my review of this coffee cart into a successful bakery and coffee shop. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video because if you guys do, make sure you guys smash the like button so then that way I know this is the type of content that you enjoy and so then that way I can create more of these for you. Now, I'll see you guys in the next video.